How's it going guys? Utop here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to join DNJ Studios uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 5 Reborn uh, personal server. It has a lot of download stuff to do and some of you guys say it's too complicated or you don't know how to do or it doesn't work. This is how you properly install it. Uh, if it doesn't work after this, I don't know what to tell you because this is the way I know how to do it and a couple other people did it this way and it works fine. Um, anyways, let's go through here step by step. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, first things first, you want to open up your uh, Google Chrome or if you have Firefox or anything else like that. But I personally prefer um, Google Chrome. It's a lot faster, I'd think. Uh, and they actually update it once in a while. Um, anyways, uh, this is my YouTube channel. We don't really need all that. Um, this is what you first do. You want to go to fivereborn.com and you want to see this page and it should automatically say download now. Um, this is simply um, play with friends, develop all content. I mean you can download mods and you know just have fun with everybody. Anyways this is you just simply click on download now and it'll bring up to this five reborn release and you guys see all this and you're like whoa wait a minute what is all this I don't even see the download thing well that's because you didn't look right because it even tells you how to download uh, how to download the client and stuff like that this is where you download it at you want to download the client click here um, the server that's if you want to host a server and stuff like that it basically tells you right there how to download it and how to use it um, and this is uh, how to download the client which I'm going to show you right here so basically you want to click the client obviously and it will download it's a five second download and you want to simply drag this onto uh, your desktop okay so once when you're here and you have your five reborn on your desktop so you think you're done you have it downloaded you don't <laughs> do not open it on your desktop because a lot of clutter will pop up you'll see here in a bit so what you want to do is you want to go to your desktop and create a new folder it doesn't matter what you rename it you can rename it Billy Bob if you want to but I'm gonna rename it reborn since it is five reborn so you want to simply drag your five reborn into your um your folder. So this is what it should look like. Uh so once when you have your five reborn into your folder. Now this is where you understand why you need to make a new folder and put it in there and stuff. So anyways, you just want to go ahead and open that up and it'll automatically start downloading files and it'll automatic up it'll automatically update it so you guys don't have to worry about going to the website and update it that way so it automatically updates you can see it takes a long time but once when it gets through all the hard files it'll simply you know download really smoothly so once when this gets done downloading I'll see you guys in a bit alrighty so once when it gets to that smooth part and it starts downloading really fast um once when it gets to 100%, it's going to pop up this thing right here. It's called, uh, or it says, select the folder containing Grand Theft Auto 5.exe. So you just want to go, basically go to where you downloaded your, um, your Grand Theft Auto 5, such as it should be either in your local disk or local disk D. Um, or for me, it's D. I don't know, for you guys, it might be F, E. But anyways... You just simply want to go to your folder where you have your Grand Theft Auto. I simply did it in my other local disk due to the fact that I didn't have enough room in my others. And then you're like, whoa, wait a minute, how did you get all these? These are actually my backup, my backup folders. And you always want to have backup folders. That's the number one rule in doing anything like this or downloading mods to your Grand Theft Auto because obviously it's gonna it's gonna be a mess um, and you have to install it reinstall it and stuff like that this is a lot faster process um, this is my Grand Theft Auto um, OSPDFR these are my two originals um, but this is the folder that I want to download uh, 5 Reborn so basically you just simply select your your Grand Theft Auto 5 make sure it says that or something like that I guess because if it doesn't read that then you're not it'll keep crashing and stuff like that 
So just make sure you select your folder with .exe in it, or your .exe, and it'll start updating 5 Reborn like this. And I do believe it'll update some more. Um, and it just basically updates it. And this is basically what your folder should look like. Um, it's going to keep adding stuff. See what it's doing. It's adding stuff to the DLC packs and stuff like that to run Five Reborn. Um, but this is what. Oops. See, it says uh, Five Reborn needs to update. You want to click yes, and this is when more waiting stops. But this is the final update it has since you know, because I do believe it was made and uh, I do believe it was released in like. I do January or something like that. I don't know, and it has a lot of updates since then. But this is should be the last update. Um, other than that, you should it should download, and this is what your folder should look like when you finish. And once when it gets done, I'll uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Once when you finish, uh, it should take some time, but it should start up on its own. Um, you just simply want to uh, allow access to your Windows security, telling them that, you're, that it, this game is okay, and you have su successfully downloaded 5 Reborn, but if you guys, you're basically done, but if you guys do want to join uh, d &J Studios and what they're doing, or what we're doing, um, this is, go ahead and continue watching the video, but if you want, if all you wanted to do was download 5 Reborn, this is it. You have your host name, you have all these servers uh, full of people who, who uh, you can just go hang out with them and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, but if you, like I said, if you guys continue watching this video, I'll continue to show you guys uh, how to join our server and stuff. Alright, so if you guys continue watching this video obviously you're here to, uh, to see how you guys join DNJ Studios and um, you know join our roleplay stuff it's pretty cool we're just friends we're, it's not really a clan we're just uh, it's not really a clan or a group or anything like that it's basically a community because we don't want to be a clan because if something bad happens you know we don't want a game to ruin our friendship and stuff like that etc etc um, Anyways, so first things first, you're going to need TeamSpeak to communicate with us. I already have it. It's right here. Um, See, so that's Drake. That's his uh, other computer. And that's, uh, oh, Sherman. Um, I haven't talked to him in a while. Anyways, um, so this is our TeamSpeak. I'll put the link in the description of where to, uh, I'll basically put everything in the link in the description, uh, step by step of how to join. You just simply want to download, uh, once when you hit download, it should pop up the server. That's if you want to host your own server and stuff like that. But I do believe you have to buy your own server. But if you run on laptop, I'm pretty sure you click 32-bit. If you're on desktop, it's 64-bit. Um, you just basically click which one. Um, but since I already have it, uh, I'm not really going to go through it, but I will show you what it looks like if you click download. Should take you a couple of minutes or probably a couple of seconds, depending on your internet speed or what type of computer you're using on the downloads. But while that's downloading, um, I will show you guys how to download our mod thing in a bit. Okay, guys. So once when you have it uh, completed, you don't really need this tab anymore or whatnot. Uh, but since I've already went through it, it's no need for me to um, go through it again. Um, because it will reinstall everything. Um, but I will go through the setup. Uh, you just basically scroll this down. If you're a disclaimer or whatnot. Da, 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 da. Install just for me. Install for anyone just using this computer. Uh, save user known file. Da, 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 da. You don't need TeamSpeak overlay. That is just something goofy that they made. But if you guys want it, go ahead, feel free and just click install. But after you installed it, you want to simply open up TeamSpeak. Um, this is the problems with everybody else having that I need to update mine, but I'm not going to do that yet. So once when you have your TeamSpeak up, you go to Connections, Connect, and then simply type in our IP address, which I will have in the link in the description. There's no password. Simply type in your name or whatnot.
click connect connected should automatically uh, go to our uh, Dallas County five reborn that's gonna be that that is our uh, name on five reborn. channel switched um, but anyways now for the mods are for the mod that Drake has you don't really channel need switched. any mods for it Oops. Channel you don't really switched. Need any mods for it because Drake already has everything, and what he has, you have. But we'll teach you all later on. Um, but anyways, once you when you join our TeamSpeak server, you guys can meet us and everything. You simply go to Download Center, which would be right here above the lobby. There is a five mod, mods five reborn. You want to since I've already done it. I guess I'll just overwrite it again. See, it's automatically overriding this, but you just simply double click this and it'll, it'll instantly start downloading. It's another quick download. Um, I have sucky internet speed and it's downloading that fast, so that tells you that it's really, it's not that big of a uh, deal or big of a foul. Um, so once when this gets done downloading, you want to go back to your five reborn folder that you created it's really simple I know it looks hard file transfer complete but once when your file transfer complete you simply open it but since to make it a lot better I'm simply just gonna drag that over here close that out close that out so once when you've officially downloaded this and you have your mod or you have your folder you all you do is, is open up your folder you open up I use Renoir, people, some people use uh, 7-Zip, but either way, you just simply go through uh, the mod. Now this is kind of, you, you guys will probably get it after this, you probably don't need my help anymore, but since you guys have our team speak, you obviously can ask us any questions there. But this is how you download the mod and whatnot. You simply open up your... 5 Reborn, not this, because this goes into your fi uh, GTA 5 directory that you're using to open up uh, 5 Reborn. But anyways, this is 5 Reborn root directory. You don't need to go through all this and simply drag it in. You just simply want to open up your root directory, take these two folders, and drag it in. It's really simple. Um, some people give us crap about whether or not if it's simple. And that's all you do. You're done. But you're not done quite yet. You just go back to your folder where you have your Grand Theft Auto.exe where you run it. Um, that's all my other folders. Um, and see, this is what it looks like if you don't have. This is what you need to do. This is simply the original Grand Theft Auto. I'd have. I've done nothing to this folder. There's no mods, no nothing. So it was with this one. Uh, but I'm probably confusing you guys. But these two folders, you just basically, I'm, what I'm trying to say is you need to back up your folders. So in case if you mess up, you'll always have a backup one. And this is my LSPDFR folder with all my mods. But anyways, this is the first five reborn. You simply can see that if you go back to your GTA 5 root directory, you have these three. Um, if I went too fast for you, I'll do it again. You simply open up your wherever you have in your five reborn. Since I already have it, it's probably going to do something else. But um, you simply open up your GTA 5 root directory. Take these three police mod script hook. That basically tells it that you want that mod in there. But I already have it in there, so it's going to. I'm just going to simply uh, click move and replace. Um, and then boom, you have these three down here, and you are done. You have five reborn, and you have the police mod to go on duty and stuff like that now Drake has the trainers and stuff and we'll teach you all that later on in game but if you have all that you are officially done you can delete that but do not delete this folder or you're not going to be able to um, have play 5 reborn because then you have to do all this over again um, but it's really simple you can't open up Grand Theft Auto 5 EXE and simply go on 5 reborn it doesn't work that way you simply open up your folder, you go to 5 Reborn, send to desktop, and you have to use this in order to get on the personal servers, or go to servers, or join us, or whatnot. Um, if you guys probably understand what I'm trying to say, this is the shortcut. You can rename it to First Reborn, um, and this and you just simply open it. You simply put that down there, and you have your 5 Reborn uh, 
setup. Now this is what it looks like when you open up your 5 Reborn. Well, you won't be experiencing a lot of crashes, but you know, it is a mod. It is a game that you're, you know, doing the mod to, so it will crash no matter what. I don't, <laughs> I mean, that's just how Grand Theft Auto is. You will have problems, so be expecting it. Just like LSPDFR, I mean, if you download that mod, you're obviously going to have problems. But this is what it looks like when you uh, set up your 5 Reborn. These are all the servers. Uh, you go uh, to settings, create your username. Uh, I'll do my name. Cloud Barfield or whatnot. Change. You go to home. And you can go and explore all these servers. And this right here, this one in particular, let me go ahead and favorite that. But this right here is Drake's server that we use on DNJ Studios. This is what we're going to be role playing on. Um, it's Dallas County on our way. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys still have any problems, uh, feel free to ask in the comments below or go on TeenSpeak and ask us there. We're all on pretty much daily, except for some people because, you know, school and stuff is, you know, school just started and people are trying to get on their routine. But anyways, simply click that like button and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much.